Last Sunday, Tesla quietly launched its robo-taxi service in Austin, Texas. No flashy event, no big cyber cap reveal. Just a few black model Ys offering limited rides with a Tesla employee still riding shotgun. It's a far cry from the boat promises Musk once made. And while competitors like Waymo have pushed ahead, Tesla's launch feels more like a cautious experiment than a confident market move. So what's really going on here? Hi, I'm Julian Kowal. I'm the founder of Ecosystemizer, where we help companies navigate business ecosystems with ease. Let's unpack what's happening in Austin and why it's more about ecosystem strategy than autonomous tech. For Elon Musk, the robotaxi isn't just another product. It's an entry point to a whole new ecosystem play. Tesla is trying to move from being a car manufacturer to becoming a full-stack mobility orchestrator. That means they don't just build the car. They run the platform. They control the data. They operate the ride service. They even explore the use of AI-powered robots in the future. If successful, Tesla would no longer compete in a traditional value chain. It would own and shape a closed-loop ecosystem with no need for third-party platforms or suppliers. This is a vertical integration strategy at the ecosystem level. And Tesla is doing it in Austin for a reason. Texas has a light touch regulatory framework for autonomous vehicles. That gives Tesla speed, but also introduces risks. Several other companies have already struggled here, freezing up during major events or creating safety concerns. Local authorities are understandably worried, but the pressure is on. Tesla's sales are down this year. Musk's association with Donald Trump has drawn backlash. He needs a strategic win, and he needs it soon. Still, this is not the aggressive Musk of old. He's talking about deployment paranoia, emphasizing safety, limiting the rollout, and moving carefully. That's wise, because the stakes aren't just technological. So what does this mean for the broader business landscape? If Tesla can make this work, ride-hailing players like Uber and Lyft may be disintermediated. Tesla would control both the fleet and the user interface, cutting out the middle layers. Traditional OEMs would be forced to rethink their role. Building cars alone may no longer be enough. They would need to transition to what platform and service models or risk being left behind. New alliances would need to form between cities, regulators, insurers, and energy providers to govern the data infrastructure, and safety around autonomous ecosystems. In other words, Tesla isn't just launching a new service. It's testing a new ecosystem configuration, one that could reorganize the industry around itself. But there's the risk. If the rollout fails due to poor adoption, technological breakdowns, or safety incidents, it won't just be a bump in the road. It could erode trust in autonomous mobility as a category trigger stricter regulation, and delay ecosystem formation across the entire sector. Ecosystems require alignment, trust, and momentum. A breakthrough can reposition an entire industry. And Tesla isn't alone in this race. Volkswagen is already making its move. Its fully autonomous ID bus AD is slated to hit the streets of Hamburg and LA by 2026. Volkswagen is working with transit providers like HVV in Hamburg and BBG in Berlin and plans to use its own ride pooling unit Moya to operate the fleet. Uber may buy up to 10,000 units over a decade. This is a clear example of how other players are also shaping their own mobility ecosystems through orchestrated collaborations and scalable platform approaches. So here's the big picture. Tesla's robotaxi launch in Austin is more than a tech demo. It's an early test of a new kind of business ecosystem, fully integrated, platform controlled, and strategically positioned to reshape mobility. The coming weeks will show whether Tesla's ecosystem vision is ready for the real world, or whether it's still stuck in the lab. If you're interested, and how companies can navigate these shifts using a structured ecosystem perspective. Subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumb. Thanks for watching. See you next time and keep innovating.